Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about what are the difference between axle, tangential, and oblique modes. We get a lot of people sending us emails and asking, you know, what, what, what are these differences you refer to in your analysis? Well, the axle modes are the pressure areas that occur between two parallel surfaces. So we could have pressure between two sidewalls. We have pressure here, because those are two parallel surfaces. And then don't forget about the floor and the ceiling. We have pressure that exists between those, but those are called something else. So axle pressure, axle modes, are the pressure areas that occur between two parallel surfaces. Two parallel surfaces, that's the optimum word here. Tangential is between four walls, so we have pressure that occurs between the two parallel walls and then two more parallel walls. So that's the definition of tangential. Axle pressure is always much stronger than tangential. Tangential pressure is always much stronger than oblique. Oblique is between all six walls. So we have ceiling, floor, and then we have front, sides, and rear wall. So we have three sets of pressure areas going on within the room. Well, if you think about it, a room has six sides, so it'll produce three sets of energy pressure relations. So the, it's all dependent on the dimensions. And it's all dependent on the frequency that's going to cause the resonance. A 30 cycle wave of energy will produce a different resonance in a different room than a 40 will, just because of the length of the wave. So all of the variables have to be taken into consideration, and the strength of that resonance is dependent on the distance. Obviously, the smaller distance and the bigger wave was going to create more pressure. But the pressure between two walls is always the greatest. So when you send in your room dimensions to me, I always give you a report with these three pressure areas. And I tell you what frequencies your problems are at. But your axial pressure, and I'll note this in the analysis, is always going to be the stronger of the three. So it's the air that moves between these surfaces that causes the sound in the residence. It's not the structure itself, although it can be. But in most cases, it's the air being confined between two parallel surfaces, two sets of parallel surfaces, and then all six surfaces that causes the problem. I hope you enjoyed Thank today's you. video. If you did, give me a thumbs up so I know that it had value to you. And please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Alternatively, if there are other topics that you wish to discuss, discuss or see discussed in a video presentation, send me a, an email, info at acousticfields.com, and uh, we'll get them on our list and, and get them done for you. I release a new uh, video about every week, so stay tuned to our YouTube channel and keep uh, updated on our new videos.